Hello friends, this video on solid states part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the Bravius lattice system. So Bravius was a French mathematician, Auguste Bravius. In 1850, he observed that there are 14 possible 3D lattices. And how it was formed? See, we have seven of this uh, unit cell shape, right? There are seven different shape of unit cells. Now, as we told that there are four different types, it's body centered, or it's only at the corner, or it's at the face, right? So, so combining both, combining both, there are 14 possible 3D lattices. And this was observed by August Bravius in 1850. So it was derived by coupling the seven, seven lattice system, which we see, right? With the four different uh, types of unit cells, that is primitive, body, face, and base. So combining this, he observed that using all his experiments, he found that in 1850, that there are 14 different possible combination of 3D lattices for a given crystal. And they were, so if you see, there are seven here, if you see here, cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, monoclinic, triniclic, and trigonal, right? The seven months. Now, for the cubic, he, he found that there are three possible combinations. One was the normal one, the corner one, right? The primitive, it's called P. And then for, uh, he also found that for cubic, the body centered was also possible, that is I. And face centered was also possible for the cube. For tetragonal, he found that, again, the primitive was possible and only body centered was possible. The face centered was, were not possible for tetragonal. Because uh, if you see uh, in cube, right, all the dimensions are same. But in this, the C is not equal. If C is very small, then you will not be able to put this uh, atoms in the face. So face centered was not possible. Correct. For orthorhombic, he saw, he observed that all uh, these four were possible. Primitive was possible. Then body centered was possible. Face centered was possible. And in fact, the base centered, you can see A, B, C, any of the second put was also possible. For hexagonal, he found that only primitive was possible based on his experiments. Right? And mathematically, we can prove that because uh, if this is my R, then mathematically it is not possible to fit. Mathematically, also you can prove. And this guy was French mathematician. Please note this guy was a mathematician. We'll also do some mathematics around this. Yeah, we'll also do some mathematics around it. We'll find the efficiency of this packing. So for monoclinic, he found that there are two possible options. One was the normal primitive and he saw, saw that for this, the base center was also possible for monoclinic. For triclinic, only primitive was possible and for trigonal also only primitive was possible. So these things is, are something which he calculated or he observed based on his experiments. He saw a lot and lots of uh, crystals. He observed them and he found that these are the only possible combinations. So, and that's why they are called Bravius lattices after his name, August Bravius, right? So we will see a, a video on all these lattices just to understand how they look. Because if we get a clear picture of how they look, we can easily solve the numericals. Correct. So let's see the simple cube. If you see here, all the sides are equal and all the angles are 90 degree. If you see, there are eight atoms on eight on the different corners, right? And all the sides, A is equal to B is equal to C, if they are equal. And the angles also are equal. On the left hand side, you can see this cuboid, which has the meaning of A, B, and C. All the sides are A, B, and C and the angles are alpha, beta and gamma. We have discussed that the alpha angle is nothing but the angle between B and C. Similarly, the beta angle is nothing but the angle between A and uh, C and gamma is nothing but the angle between A and B. Correct? So in this case of simple cube, this is how it looks. All the sides are equal, all the angles are equal and in this case of single, simple cubes, all the atoms are on the corners. Correct? This is how it looks, if you see. 
the next example is the body centered cube we see in the case of body centered cube again the sides are equal all the angles are equal and here but the atoms are not only in the corners but there is one atom if you see in the body of it if you see in the body there is one atom correct this is how it looks everything is same but in the body there is one atom this is how it it looks and the next is the face centered cube here also since it is cubic all the sides are equal all the angles are 90 degree right but please note here uh, carefully at all the sides at all the sides all the faces actually if you see there will be one sphere since this sphere is shared by two cells so i have split into half just for the representation purpose if you see this is how it looks right if you see this is how it looks with this you can have a pretty good idea on how face centered cube looks like this is how it looks correct this is the exactly look of face centered cube pi the next is the simple tetragonal in this case if you see all this sides are not equal two sides are equal and the third side is not equal but all the angles are equal 90 degree this is how it looks right in tetragonal uh, in, in the tetragonal packing we have only two option one is the simple one and the other is the body centered we will discuss both this is the simple packing where my all the atoms are on the edges correct this is how it looks all the atoms are on the edges this is my tetragonal and the next tetragonal is a body centered tetragonal here also the if you see since it is tetragonal two sides are equal and third side is not equal and all the angles are 90 degree now if you see this is how it looks the there is a this is a body centered so there is a atom on the center of the body correct you can see this atom on the center of the body there are only two type of packing for this tetragonal then the, the next is orthorhombic in orthorhombic if you see all the sides are unequal a is equal not equal to b is not equal to c and but all the angles are equal they are 90 degree in case of orthogonal we have all four different kinds of packing we'll see this the first one is the simple one which is on the picture if you see in this case all the atoms are only on the corners if you see now all the atoms are only on the corners right in the coronal lattice we have the atoms the next type of packing for the orthogonal orthorhombic is uh, face centered here also if you see orthorhombic sides are not equal but all the angles are equal and if you see this is the face centered where we have atoms also on the face right with this you can make out how it looks so the atoms on the face correct the next one is uh, the body centered orthorhombic in case of orthorhombic we have atoms on the center of the body if you see here in center of the body we have one atom correct the next is the base centered base centered where atoms are there in the corners plus it is there on the one of the two sides opposite sides for example in this case it is on these two sides it can be on the any other two pair also right so here also if you see all the uh, sides are unequal and all the angles are 90 degree this is how a base center looks like correct the next is hexagonal so in hexagonal if you see we have a is equal to b but not equal to c two sides are equal and two angles are equal if you see alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degree and beta is equal to 120 degree that means two angles are 90 one angle is 120 degree correct and we have two sides equal one side is unequal this is how it looks hexagonal this is a exact view of hexagonal so in hexagonal we have only simple packing the next is monoclinic in monoclinic we have two one is simple in monoclinic if you see all the sides are unequal but two angles are equal 90 degree and the third angle has to be not equal to 120 there is a mistake here this uh, beta has to be not equal to 120 degree actually yeah 120 degree alpha and gamma is equal to 90 and beta is not equal to 120 degree this is how it is yeah so in this case we have we also have the face centered monoclinic so if you see here uh, the parameters are still same but if you see in the face we have two atoms you can see in the face structure there are two atoms this is my face centered the next is the simple triclinic in simple triclinic if you see sides are not equal angles are also not equal if you see a is not equal to b is not equal to c and 
alpha is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma and they are not even equal to 90 degree this is how it looks very haphazard they have only simple uh, structure where the atoms are there only on the corners and the last one is simple trigonal so in, in this case if you see all the sides are equal but all the angles are not equal and they are less than 120 degree correct they are less than 120 degree and all these angles are equal but they are not equal to 90 degree so it is, this is almost equal to a cube one but the tapered cube right you, you push cube from one side it gets deformed so here also all the sides are equal all are equal to a is equal to b is equal to c and all the angles are also equal alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but they are not equal to 90 degree correct so here also we have only one possible option that is the simple one this is how it looks now having seen the videos you must have got a clear idea on how this uh, looks like and if you see the cubic one the cubic one where a is equal to b is equal to c we have discussed and they have both primitive body centered and face centered and the examples of the cubic uh, crystal system is sodium chloride zinc blade and copper for tetragonal cubic uh, crystal system the examples are white tin sno2 tio2 caso4 for orthorhombic crystal system the examples are rhombic sulfur kno3 and barium sulfate for hexagonal crystal system the example is graphite zinc oxide and cds for rhombohedral the example is calcite or cinnabar so these are some examples of the lattice system because we, we discussed all this lattice system bravius lattice there we should also know which all uh, crystals show this property so we see that sodium chloride shows the is part of cubic lattice system zinc blend is also part of cubic lattice system thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again